Josh, British title fight with Jazza Dickens fast approaching. How's preparations going? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, ready, 6th of March, two week Friday. So, yeah, get in there and get it done. Trained hard, so it's what it's all for, you know. It's always been my dream to win British title, so, you know, I've got another chance and I've got a ticket with both hands. Well, this fight with Jazza has been on the cards for what seems like a long time now. He's supposed to fight for the English title, I think 2012, 2013, yeah. never happened. You know, you're just glad to actually get this opportunity to set the record straight with him. Yeah, I've, I've fancied the fight for a while, don't get me wrong. But I know he's a good kid. Um, like you said, um, not this Christmas, last Christmas, I was used to boxing for English title. He pulled out with uh, five days to go. Um, for that, was he were injured. So, uh, you know, I've, I've fancied it for a while, so we'll, we'll wait and see. You know, it's another good kid who I'm boxing. I've, uh, Box them all, European, world, British champ, you know what I mean? I think I'm just getting better now in my age. The last performance, uh, sorry, the last performance, second to last performance, uh, for British, um, I saw some improvement and I think I can go again. I can, can do a lot better than that. I think, uh, you know, you can do all training in Wales, you can run 25 miles a day, eat bags all day. If it, any day it's at night, you've, you've got to turn up at night. And I, I feel I'm quite to age now. Where, I know how to deal with everything and uh, I'm coming a better fighter for it, so yeah. With that fight you mentioned there, uh, second to last, when you fought for the British title against Gavin yeah. MacDonald, it was a draw, a lot of people felt you won. Yeah. So, in a way, if you win the British title now, does it feel like you're getting something that you should have had last year anyway? Yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of people, I've had to put that behind, put it back at me because if I keep dwelling on it and the, what if, so like, it, it won't to be, you know what I mean? But I've got another chance, uh, you know what? <laughs> It sounds sounds funny, but you, you, you look, you know, me, me look won't in that day, so, you know, someday me look will be in, and I, I you know, I, I'm too much, I've got too much desire and everything, I train so hard, I've dedicated all my life to this, since I've been eight years old, I mean, people get on about, uh, I dedicated the art of sport and that, you know, all my life's built around boxing, you know, and, and I just can't wait, I just want that British, you know, that, that's all I want, I've never been one of these, uh, to live in June will say I want to be a world champion or whatever. British title's good enough for me. Uh, then you take whatever after that. Does it daunt you in any way having to travel to Liverpool and boxing Jazza in his backyard? No, I mean, I've done it, done it all before. You know, <laughs> done it all before. Uh, it's a cracking venue. You know, it's the type of venue you want to win a British title at. You know, a bit on a big card like it is. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I get to the point now. Uh, I really look forward to these fights because this is what this is what all I worked for, you know. Um, with before, uh, you know, I used to so that things uh, niggle me a little bit, you know, and stuff like that. Totally different now. It's, you know, it's, at the end of the day, he can say what he wants, I can say what I want. You know what I mean? Two men going to ring on six, best man win. You know what I mean? And and uh, that's where it'll happen. Do you think as well, you know, given that who you fought, you know, your Matthew Marsh, Ishan Pickering going way back and then Kid Galarad, etc., you know, more recently, do you think people forget that you're only 26? Yeah, well, I mean, look at kids who I fought. You just mentioned all them, Craig Lyons, you know. It just goes on and on, really, you know. Like you say, I'm only 26. I went with Matthew Marsh at 20 year old. I mean, you know, you know former undefeated British champion, holding me on with Matthew Marsh, who was a cracking boxer. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, you know, like you say, 26 year old, I'm just coming into me, they're, first, they're all learning, you know, I've learned from every single one of them. Um, and for one, one thing or another, I've gained experience as I've been going. And I wouldn't have done it any other, di other different way. Listen, I, I don't have enough tickets, I could, I could, you know, easily have built my record boxing Jack Smith from Lat Latvia, you know, <laughs> you don't, don't really, I, I wanted to test myself, and, um, you know, I've, had, I've let me send down on a couple of nights. Um, I ain't performed up to my ability. I won't do that again, you know. Um, if I turn up with my A game, which I'm cap what capable of, I will do, and I'll beat anybody, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I can, so. You've made a few changes as well, haven't you, since the Gavin McDonald fight? Change your manager, obviously your dad's still your trainer, but you're working a bit with Chris Aston as well on the side, so what's different now? Yeah, just, you know, just, just changing it up a bit. Like you say, uh, Chris Aston you know, is a, um, you know, he's, he's like a family friend, and we brought him in, and he helps, helps my dad, and obviously my dad training me like he's always done since I've been eight year old. It's, 
it's a it's a massive fate for us because I've always promised him uh, that long as he will you know you know what problems we've had and stuff like that. Um, we come over here, Chris, and we do pads and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and just just learning, you know, Chris and my dad will talk about stuff. You know what? You know, I mean, there's a lot of things I can improve on, and I, I think I'm I'm just gradually doing that, and uh, I'm showing that in in training and sparring and, and stuff like that. So I'm really confident. Yeah. Excellent. Well, good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers.